Okay. Hey babes, so it's time for me to take my locks out and on the install video that I'll link here if you haven't seen it yet, a lot of you guys wanted me to show you how I take my hair down. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I know that y'all don't wanna see me take every single lock down. No one wants that, no one wants that. So I'm just gonna check in periodically and that way I can show you exactly how long it took me to finish taking my hair down, how many locks I have in my head, and I can also show you exactly how I take them down. This is before I take any down. I got a full head of locks strap. This is the front. If you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back, 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 back. Am I the only person who's obsessed with Doja Cat? I can't be alone. I can't be alone, she's awesome. All right, so this is the back. She looking luxurious, girl, lots of texture, yes. It is 5.44 right now, so we'll just go ahead and say it's 5.45, and I'm about to get started so we can have an accurate, you know, we doing, we doing science, this is science. I wanna give you guys exactly how long it takes me to take my hair down. Let me get my scissors and I'll come back and check in. You want a supermodel pose, I mean real friend Winnie. All right, so I'm just checking in. I just counted this side and it's 24 locks on this side. All right, and 26 on this side. So the total is 50 locks and I literally part my hair like this for most of my lock styles, except for like the larger locks. I typically put in about 35 to 40 of the large locks, depending on the look that I'm going for. But yeah, so right now I have exactly 50 in my head. I specifically counted 50 locks. We're doing, we're doing this for the girls, you feel me? For the girls. So yeah, I'll be back to check in with you guys in a few minutes once I actually get started because I need to figure out what I'm about to binge watch on Netflix. Cause quite frankly, doing your hair is a spiritual experience for a black woman, you feel me? I'm about to get in my zone, get my snacks, get my herbal teas, you feel me? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, I might I might watch a little, a, little, a little something on YouTube, you feel me? Comment down below who your favorite YouTubers are because I'm literally obsessed with just about everyone. I am a YouTube stan. <laughs> So what had happened was, uh, I started my hair last night, but I had to drop my auntie off at the airport so I didn't get a chance to finish it. I spent 30 minutes last night and 30 minutes this morning and I finished the back two rows. So just a little update. I know I'm real trifling. I don't, thank you ma'am. I'm just playing. <laughs> right now it is 6.07 and I am adamantly taking my hair down. I'll probably check in in about an hour. Okay, it is now 8.07 and I have most of it taken out. So yeah, most of it is out already. Just have a few rows left at the top and I'll check back in soon. <laughs> All right, so I only have four rows left. Most of it is out and it is 9.12 right now. I'm about to take a break and eat and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that we've gotten close to the top, I wanna show you guys exactly how I've been taking these down. So for me, the first step is making sure that all of my hair is put out of the way because you'd hate to cut your hair on accident. That is not fun. And then I start by twisting the root section of the lock the opposite direction of the way that I installed it. And that just kind of loosens it up and lets me be able to see like what's the fake hair, what's my real hair. Now I find it easiest to do this at the root and the end and kind of just slide the lock off as opposed to unraveling the entire lock. It just saves a lot of time. So as you see here, I'm trimming the top, trimming the end, and then once I have that middle piece nice and loose, I just slide it off, and then I unravel whatever is left of the braid underneath. Taking all the extension hair out, and then I'm just left with a piece of my real hair. It's pretty simple, again, getting everything out of the way, and then I'll do this one. Now this was a lock from hell and I'm happy because then I get to show you guys that it doesn't always work out perfectly. So I'm starting the exact same way, just trimming at the root and just trying to get all the extension hair trimmed and out of the way. And now I'm working my way down to the end and I'm doing the same exact thing, twisting it the opposite direction that I installed it in and it'll kind of give you a little bit of slack in the hair where you can get your scissors in to trim it. I hope this is making sense. If I need to make another one, I will. Just comment down below if you don't understand. 
But as you can see, I have the bottom unraveled and then I have the top unraveled, but this one will not come out. Like I literally was pulling on it so, so hard. So I had to work on it a little bit longer, but eventually I got it out. And now I'm just taking out that braid that's underneath. It's more of like a wrist braiding mixed with twisting. Yeah, it's super simple. It's not always perfect. You kind of just have to go at it and just try your best not to cut your real hair. Take your time. And once I have it completely taken out, here is my real hair. It is 11.30 on the dot. Like literally 11.30. Thank you so much for watching. Good night, guys.